Am I live? I think so. Okay, I know we're live on TikTok, and now we're live on YouTube, correct? Yes. Okay. There's your chat. Yep, I see it. Welcome, you guys. Welcome, people that are on TikTok. Welcome to my friends on YouTube. Thanks for joining me. We're actually going to do a little giveaway today. It's just going to be a mass unboxing, and I'm also going to be doing Inatox, which is a toxin from Korea. In my face today, you can also see that I have some breakouts going on. I think this is due to my testosterone palette and probably me having a little bit too much fun during my birthday weekend. Oh my gosh, you guys, daylight savings. Today is a rough day. Um, okay, so the little giveaway that we're doing, and you'll have to be on the YouTube live if you wanna enter, if you just wanna stay on TikTok and enjoy everything I'm sharing with you, totally cool. But we're, the way we're doing the giveaway today, and it's going to be this amazing Bloom Effects SPF 50. You guys, I got this this summer, and I have loved it. And they just sent me another bottle, so I was like, well, maybe we'll do a little giveaway with it since we're getting into spring. It feels very springy the way they do their packaging. It's a beautiful, beautiful glow, so I'll show you guys what that looks like in a second. And let me just, like, get out of the way for a minute. But we have... A ton of stuff to go through and enjoy. I also have my map for how I will be doing the Inatox inside the Skin and Wellness app that is linked in, uh, I believe in the description notes here on YouTube. <laughs> I didn't double check that, but it should be. Um, and if you are already an app member, thank you. And we will see you guys in the app for the Inatox application at 4 p.m. Pacific. So it's 2 p.m. Pacific right now. In two hours, I'll be in the app. I gave myself a little bit more time today during this live because I had so much stuff to go through. And also I just wanted to chit chat and not like have this crazy rush because I do enjoy I do enjoy doing lives with you guys and I enjoy ch chatting away because I, if I don't get in a million words in a day, then you know, I'm not happy. Okay, so let's get this going. Welcome you guys, so fun to see all, all of you. The giveaway was Melissa's idea and I believe, oh wait, I can't, I don't know if I can scroll this. I'm not sure if we have the, oh wait. Um, not sure if we have it pinned or not, but we definitely want you guys to participate and I think we'll have a question, right? So the way the giveaway is gonna work is that you're gonna answer a question in the YouTube live. And I think it's like, I think the question is just gonna be, what is um, like a favorite product that I've shared with you guys or something that you've bought because I shared it and you love it. And so we can just like, that will be your entry here. And then we'll just do the same thing in the app. You just, if you're in the app during the In a Talks Live, then you'll just like comment kind of the same concept. And then on Wednesday's walkie talkie, you know, when I go over peptides, I will announce the winner during Wednesday's live here on YouTube. So that's kind of it. You'll comment here, you'll comment in the app, and then on Wednesday we will announce the winner, and I will package this up and ship it off to whoever is the winner, okay? Alrighty, and I hope you love it, because it's super nice, and it's a it's like a bougie price point for an SPF, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I bought so much due to you, Linda says. Whew. I hope your uh, husband's okay with that. <laughs> I feel like sometimes I'm gonna have husbands coming for me. Um, uh, also, I wanted to touch on this with regard to Inatox. So if you, you may have seen on Instagram that I shared this a little bit ago, but my, my forehead had become very atrophied and this does happen from using a lot of toxin because you're disabling the muscle, right? So the muscle is going to atrophy because it's not moving. And that's a good thing because we don't want a lot of movement because that's going to create wrinkles. However, we do need, um, we do want that muscle to be there because otherwise you just get a very, very thinned out forehead. And that is definitely what has happened to me. So that's the reason you see a lot of wrinkles in me because I'm, I'm not going to be toxing my forehead for a while. I want that muscle to build itself back up. So unfortunately you will see this, even though I have massive access to toxin, it's not that I don't see them. It's purposeful to not tox them right now, but I will be toxing around my eyes because 
I do have like crow's feet that are setting in and then I'll be doing my um, bunny nose. So these are called bunny lines. So we'll be toxing in there. And then also I like to tox down here just to help lift the corners of my mouth. So <laughs> I'm always backwards when I'm doing this stuff. So I'm like a little confused. So anyways, that's the whole point. That's the whole plan. I hope you guys get it. And with that, let's dig in to everything we're gonna be using. Maybe what we'll do is for the giveaway, I'll just show you the SPF right now. We're gonna cleanse my face and stuff, but we'll put it on just so that you guys can see it. I will say the one thing about this, the formula is amazing, but I find that the pump is a little problematic sometimes for me. Okay. It's, it's like it will pump out, but then like, it doesn't go back up the suction tube. And so sometimes you see me unscrew it because I'm like, why won't it pop pump up? So it's kind of like a little bit annoying. So maybe it's just this one is um, problematic and the one that you'll get brand new in the box won't be. I hope that's the case because <laughs> the formula is beautiful, but the pump is so annoying. Obviously you can see super annoying. And I do think at this price point, this pump should work much better. So, okay. Well, here it is. I did get one pump out. So watch, we'll just put this on my face. This is an SPF 50 and it is, um, there's no chemical, uh, SPF, uh, preventer in it. So meaning that this is 100% mineral based, but look at how sheer it is. Isn't that amazing? A 50 SPF, mineral based that's this year i tried a lot you guys this one is kind of amazing so and i i just like it i think it goes on really nice it's super light um yeah so anyways i'm excited to send this to one of you guys so all you have to do is comment melissa will enter you guys in and then we'll announce whoever the winner is as is or will be on wednesday and then this wednesday's walkie talkie instead of doing a deep dive into a peptide this week, instead, I made this list of like eight mistakes or eight things that you should be aware of when you start peptide use. So I'll be going over that on Wednesday just to like catch everybody up. And then you can also always watch the uh, previous ones that I've done where I've done deep dives into certain peptides to like get more understanding for them. And then I think on Wednesday, well, I know, I'm gonna go earlier. So normally I've been going at 7.30 a.m., but this Wednesday I'm gonna go at 6.30 a.m. And I might start that because my friend now is teaching a yoga class on Wednesdays at 8.15 and I really wanna go support her and be in that class with her because she's amazing. So that's why I'm trying to like change my schedule a little bit so that I can get, I can accommodate everything. That's that's always my goal. Okay, um, I know, you guys, I know. Oh, and it's made with tulips. Melissa just reminded me it's made with tulips. So I don't know, you guys, it's a beautiful, it's just a fun little SPF and I'm excited to share it with you guys. Okay, let's start with this brand. Has anybody heard of this brand yet? It's vetted by Derm Lab. So they did send these. Everything that I'm sharing with you guys, I was gifted by the brands, okay? Um, just to throw that out there. They're not paying me to share, but they do flood my house with products. And sometimes it's fun for me to just do these massive unboxings to share with you guys what came. All right. So I have obviously not looked at these yet, but they sent a, well, let's start. They sent a cleanser. So we'll use that. They sent a light moisturizer and then they sent a retinoid serum. So I'm going to use these. We're not just going to like look at them. Like I'm going to use them and we'll, that's my favorite way of sharing anyways. I just like to, you know, it's like, it's like everybody gets the gift all together. Ooh, I didn't. Okay. This is a beautiful bottle. First off. Okay. It's like glass. It's, I mean, this would look really beautiful in a bathroom, like set out. Okay. So that's great. Let's look at the next one. Is it tinted Jane Blanco asked? No, it's not tinted. It's just like a sheer, I mean, it almost kind of seems like it's tinted, but really it goes on sheer, totally sheer. Okay, this is the light moisturizer. Again, in keeping with, these are, these are beautiful bottles. Hopefully the pump works. And then this is their retinoid serum, okay. 
felt like I just heard something. Oh, Leda says, hey, my internet is down. So glad I caught you on my phone. Oh, me too. Thank you. The internet has been really weird today. AT&T like had an outage today too, which was super annoying for me this morning. So hopefully everything's fine with them because I am streaming um, on my phone for TikTok right now. So, all right. Let's look at the vitamin C first. So it's a C cleanser. It says, <clears throat> Hmm. Okay. For use in the morning and evening as needed, apply one pump in hands and gently massage on moistened face, working into a lather, rinse with warm water for best results. All right, let's do that. And then we'll layer on the other things, even though like retinoid, you don't have to just use a retinoid at night, but typically that's when people do it. Oh, here's a little piece of paper. Let's read this. Okay. So the vetted standard, it's a scientific data, scientific data drives ingredient choice. Yay. So each ingredient serves a purpose and is hypoallergenic and non-irritating as determined by existing prevalence data. Okay. Active ingredients are proven and well studied. Okay. Sustainability, recyclable glass and paper packaging and ethically sourced ingredients. Now, I mean, the bottles are super nice. They are glass. Not great for traveling, but definitely would be pretty in your bathroom. Okay. So basically, there's no fragrance. There's no propylene uh, glycol. There's um, no vitamin E. There's no phenol exanthanol. Mm, can't say that word. Oh, here comes some other words I can't say. There is no methylisothiol thiazolinone, mm. there's no formaldehyde, there's no propolis, there's no essential oils, there's no sodium metabisulfite, there's no dyes, parabens, phthalates, SLS, there's no cocamidopropobetane, <laughs> there's no alkyl glucosides, there's no dimethicone, um, which I believe is alcohol. There is no lanolin and there is no benzophenone. So I think if you guys are concerned about those certain things, you know what they are. And hopefully you, you know, you might be interested in this brand that seems to be clean since that seems to be everyone's desired situation these days. Okay. Let's try this, this, uh, Um, yeah, what she said, let's hope the, the pumps are good. Tell me about it. Right. Okay. Let's, let's get myself a little, uh, little sponge. Cause that always helps me when I'm sitting here. Okay. So for those on TikTok, I am streaming straight on the camera right now on YouTube on the channel spot and tell, cause that is my YouTube channel now. And we are doing this massive unboxing. So if you're just joining me, welcome. I went early today just so that we had lots of time to chit chat and figure out what is going on with all these things that brands send me. And let's see about this. Okay, so it's just like a clear one. Okay, it's gonna lather up really good. Smooth. I do like that it lathers really easily. I could have probably done a lot less. Look at it, it's lathering great. I did have a nice birthday candy. Thank you for asking. No, it was amazing. I mean, we always do fun things for my birthday, whether it's like a trip or something. And I was excited because this was like definitely out of our wheelhouse, like going to San Francisco and dancing and having so much fun and just feeling like, I don't know, just like super, I don't know, I felt like I was like 21 in Barcelona again. And that was so fun and refreshing and different and super appreciated Jason being willing to do that with me because it's not really his scene, you know, but he was willing to do it for me for my birthday. So that's fun. Okay, well, let's take this off now. There's nothing about it that's stingy. There's no scent to it. It's just like a really, um, feels gentle. Like there's nothing, uh, it, I don't sense anything aggressive in it. Mm. 
Yeah, well, Melissa, I would say that the breakouts could be from sweating and dancing and then going home at like 4 a.m. and just hitting the bed and not washing my face. So, <laughs> there's a there's quite a few reasons that I'm probably breaking out right now. Plus, I think also I tend to break out around this time of year and also in the fall as the uh, weather starts to change and the weather seems like it's changing right now here in Northern California. It's all of a sudden gotten very beautiful, whereas it was like cold and rainy for like months. So I don't know. Or I was just lazy and I left a lot of junk on my face and uh, <laughs> and I did eat cake. So I had sugar, all those, all those things that sometimes our skin just is like, what are you doing? Edward, oh, from Colorado. Hey, Edward, how are you? So good to see you. Did you enjoy my last peptide walkie talkies? I know that you're into that. I also know that you're doing carnivore, which is awesome. And by the way, I know that one day I like went after you because I was super confused by the comment and I just want to apologize to you directly if I hadn't already because I always feel so bad when I do that. I'm just going to stop. I'm going to not respond to the comments that I do not understand because they always like backfire on me. I'm always like, oh, dang it. Jason's like, that's not what he meant. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Oh, is Rita here? Hey, Rita. We have missed you, our dear friend. I'm so glad you had a great trip. Okay. Okay. So... You can see there's nothing on my face except for some breakouts, which are always awesome. And that cleanser worked out great. The pump worked. Okay. So I'm gonna use both of them, but the first one is a light moisturizer. So let's see what this is like. Okay, so this is what the moisturizer is looking like. Don't mind my, uh, hands that have some self tanner on them. Let's see. I kind of, it's not like a scent it has. It's like a very, um, I mean, I guess there is something I'm smelling, but it's not like a perfume. It's like, I don't know. It almost seems vitamin-y, but not like gross vitamin-y. Does that make sense? It's like, a, if anybody tries this, I'd be curious to know how you would describe this scent because it's not like perfume at all, but there is like, there is something. Okay. It seems to absorb in really quickly. We also have some makeup that I'm excited to try, but I don't have like a full face of makeup. It's just like some products from them. So not from this brand, but from another brand that we're going to get into. Okay. So that's on. Now let's try their retinoid serum. Okay. So this one's a little thinner. Oh, thanks, Jenny May, for helping with that. Okay, so Jenny May just helped me see Nay's comment, which asked, do I prefer U.S. or Korean-based products? Honestly, for me, I just prefer a good price point and efficacy. Like, if it's made in the U.S., awesome. If it's made in Korea, awesome. Like, if it's made in Australia, awesome. Like, I don't have any loyalty to any product or brand based on where it's made, I think Korean skincare t tends to be effective and at a really low price point, which I really appreciate. So, and I, I also think that in the Korean skincare world, they're just more creative. They're more, I, I just find that they, in the US based skincare world, I feel like it's a lot of the same. It's always the same. And I have fun looking at Korean brands because they just, they find unique ingredients they do fun packaging again it's usually a great price point so that's the reason i value um korean brands a lot in skincare and korean skincare has really revolutionized my life um definitely 
like go to market mask Korean beauty, like Tony Moly and stuff like that, that you're familiar with or Laneige, but then also like the more professional, like, uh, product lines with the mesotherapies and stuff like Korea is just amazing when it comes to biostimulators and things that are actually going to increase collagen in your skin. Okay. So this also dried down really nicely. Like it feels really light. Okay. Um, so I would say that this brand is awesome. The pumps worked. I like these like glass bottles. I'm excited to put these in our bathroom. Like I think these will look really beautiful in there. And so far so good with these. Okay, the next brand we have is City Beauty. I've used City Beauty. I think the first video I ever did for City Beauty was in 2020. So they've been in my life for the last four years. I have a lot of their, uh, I have scissors today. I have a lot of their um, product line. Maybe I have it all, but um, they did send this new product. So this is their concentrated use serum. And what do they say? about this okay what is it it's a concentrated youth serum works day and night to reduce the look of wrinkles and enhance the look of skin firmness this dynamic treatment is equipped with advanced enzyme technology designed to help skin reap the benefits of beauty sleep and combat environmental stressors known to accelerate visible skin aging to diminish the look of thin wrinkled skin for a dramatically smoother firmer younger appearance appearance all right so it's got a rejuvenating enzyme and it has a smoothing compound. Let's try it. Oh, here are the things that it has. Okay, the key ingredients are it has, because I can never say these words, um, alga kitiv genofix day light activated enzymes. Because this is the this is the enzyme shield skin from wrinkle accelerating environmental stressors promoting the look of smoother firmer skin. Okay. Uh, Genofix Night. Wait, which one is this? Oh, these are just the enzymes in it. So it has all of them. It's got the Day Genofix and the Night Genofix. So these beauty sleep enzymes support a youthful appearance while you rest, helping skin look firmer, smoother, and more radiant. And then it has a coconut fruit extract, which helps skin by combating environmental stressors and densifying densifying the look of thin skin so it appears thicker firmer and plumper okay well i definitely need some densifier so let's try this out <laughs> please work pump okay great it's kind of like a clear gel let's see again no scent to this Oh yeah, Jason's skin is looking great from the melanotan peptide. I can't wait to do that. I should probably start that next month maybe. I don't know, I thought I would do it before we go to Vail for skiing, but I don't know. I have a lot of peptides going on right now, so we might just wait. Okay. So this one is drying down by City Beauty pretty well. It feels hydrating. It'll be interesting to sleep in it and see like what it feels like and looks like in the morning. I could see putting this on and then putting on a sleep mask on top of it to really like help lock in the hydration. Hopefully fix some zits that I have going on. Okay. All right, moving on. Oh, yay, we get to do makeup now. I was excited to try these things out. Okay, so have you guys heard of this company, Flight 70? This is new to me. There are so many brands in the world, you guys, I, I could never keep up. And when they come to my house, I, I honestly have no idea, like, you know, where they are. But so this first one is a glow back. So this is a global prep, they say. It's a brightening primer. The sheer... Um, 
The sheer and complexion boosting primer brightens and rejuvenates without frost or shine. Okay. Apply gently to the face and follow with your favorite foundation or wear alone for a fresh energized look. Gently shake before use. Avoid the eye area. Okay. Let's try it out. Let's see. I, I didn't bring down a foundation, so it is going to be what it is. We're not going to like do a crazy makeup right now, but oh, Okay, so this is how the applicator is. It's got this like little tiny like plastic knob for a head. You guys see that? Okay, so let's see. Okay, here it's filling the chamber. Okay, kind of light, let's see. Okay, so it's not really going to give you any um, coverage, but it could also be super nice when you don't have breakouts to cover up and you just have like really beautiful skin that you wanna be seen, show off. I mean, it does have like a little bit of color to it, but it's so sheer, just like that SPF I showed you earlier that it's not going to cover anything. Let's see on the forehead. I do like its bottle though. I like how that works. It's It doesn't have like any messiness to it. It's not dripping out of its little um, dispenser thing. I don't know why it said I can't put it around my eyes. I literally just put it around. <laughs> Maybe it has something in it that if you get it into your eyes, it would really burn. I don't know. We won't get it into our eyes. I think that's pretty, but super sheer, you know, so it's just like a primer. I don't know how much glow it's actually giving me though. I've definitely used much glowier primers than this one. It has kind of a nice slip to it. And with all of that skincare I already put on, I don't see any like peeling because I'm like also testing for that. I always like layer on a ton of stuff and then I'm like, why did that peel? But it's not peeling at all. One of the reasons is if you take more time between your steps and you're doing a bunch of stuff, if you let each step dry down, there'll be less likelihood for peeling, but that's not always the case either because sometimes if you mix certain ingredients, um, like if you go to oil-based versus water-based, you know, they're, they're just not going to interact well with one another. Okay, so the other two makeups they sent is a Lucent, what is this? Is this like some kind of powder? I think this might be some kind of powder. They say just like heaven, okay. Let's see, it says apply this silky cream powder to highlight to cheek and brow bones or stunning illumination for a minimal sparkle and maximum incandescence, okay. Okay, so it's like a highlighter. Maybe we'll put it everywhere. That could be pretty. And then they also sent a lip product The packaging is nice too, you guys. This packaging is super, oh, it's magnetic. Okay, everybody got into the magnetic thing. The only thing bad about magnetic things, as I've learned, is that you, they don't like to be stacked next to each other. They like push each other away. So this looks like a really pretty color. Okay, let me grab a brush and let's apply this highlighter, see what that's all about. I really need to do a massive brush washing. I've been so bad. <laughs> my brushes are like so gross. I really need to get out my brush spinner and uh, clean them all. I used to do that during lives. That was kind of back in the day. Can always take it back. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be washing my face after we do this because I'm gonna be getting then ready for the Inatox live in the app. So that we'll just like put this everywhere. Let's see what happens. We'll make ourselves like a disco ball. Ooh, that actually has like a really pretty glow to it. Do you guys see that? Cause like here on this side, I don't have it on yet. And on this side, I just added some. Okay, let's do this side. Okay, let's do, take some and like put it on our lip to see. On our nose. Okay, well, let's do our. Oh, it, you know what? That brush probably wasn't picking it up very well because it has actually like a cream product. So 
So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my finger to put it on my cheeks and my eyelids. Okay, that is pretty. Okay, Flight 70. I actually really like this color. It's like not too gold and not too white. It's like a nice, I just feel like it has like a nice read to it. Check my mirror. Yeah, okay. I like it. Yeah, it's such a subtle touch. I agree. Hey, Ryan, how are you? <laughs> Ryan's like, sorry, I'm late work. It's cramping my social time. <laughs> oh, I know. Work does that. Okay, let's use it. Since it is a cream, I'll use it with my finger to put it up here. Let's see what we get. Also, it's always nice. I should have worn a V-neck. But let's see if we can, like, take it on our... Oh, yeah. We'll just, like... If you didn't know, if you take it on your collarbones, or I'm backwards, so let me get in my mirror. If you put it on your collarbones and you're like wearing a v-neck, it just like helps it pop a little bit more. So I, I tend to take highlighter like this and use it just to make my collarbones just like have a little bit more dimension. Because then you like, you see, like, but it's not too much. It's just like a pretty little, pretty little pop. Okay. Great. Okay, I didn't do it on this side. Cool. We'll get some on this side too. I'm really hating the fact that I have these breakouts, but you guys, I'm a normal person too. Hope you can appreciate that. And they never happen. So that's why it's like crazy that I have like all of them going on at the same time. Oh, I'm excited to try this, this like lip gloss. Let's see. So what color is this one? They're calling it, so they call it a high shine lipstick DOS model. Oh, this brand is made in Italy, by the way. Let's see what it looks like on my hand. Oh, I feel like I'm going to love this. It's not too much. This is definitely my jam. Okay, let's do this. It's super hydrating. Jason and I are gonna meet up with some friends tonight. So after I do my in a tox in the app, I will, um, I'm gonna use this stuff tonight with some foundation and some concealer to hide my issues. But I do, I, I like this. Like, I don't know why it took, I've had this for like a couple months and now I finally broke it into it, but never late, the, better late than never, right? What did I do with? Okay, and just so you guys know, in the YouTube description, all the things that I'm using are listed down below. Not all of the products we have promo codes for, but if you're interested in them, they'll be listed below. Okay, this is like really pretty. What do you guys think? It's like, it's kind of like a great mix between a lip gloss, like a balm, and more of a lipstick. But I think it's so hydrating. Like that's what I'm getting from this right now. It is super hydrating. You like it, Candy? Okay, thank you. Oh, you think the color green is a good color for me, KDM? Thank you. All right. What's up next? Okay, so this is the... Sh you know what? Let's do some body stuff before... Because I'm going to wash my face when we hit this brand. So let's look in this box. Okay. So this is Reimagine Ancient Mediterranean Bathing Practices. And look at this box. Not fun. Okay. Let's get into this. Whenever brands send me like big things like this, I always am like, look. I try to use the boxes as like storing sweaters in because I feel like they're such beautiful boxes and I feel so bad throwing them away. And I can, I do, I repurpose them into like sweater boxes. Or like a gift, like I'll just be like, oh, here's a nice box for, you know, some gift that has nothing to do with it. But, you know, when you remove the insert, you have just like this amazing box. And 
it's like awesome. Oh, yay. On the back of it, it says some stuff. Good. Okay. So we have a pre-exfoliating foam mousse. Okay, so that's this guy. So it says our pre-exfoliating foam is designed to be used with our exfoliating glove. Okay, let's find that. Okay, so they sent out an exfoliating glove and this, which I love to exfoliate my body, um, especially before I do self tanner. And if you guys don't realize I'm ultra white, so you can actually see, like look at how wet my face is and then you can see like I have self tanner going on on my body. So like, <laughs> I'm, I'm not a tan girl, okay. So we do exfoliate my body. I exfoliate my body a lot because when you're doing self tanner a lot, you really need to exfoliate it off and then have a nice new layer. Ooh, these are beautiful box. I'm like loving packaging today. These are beautiful. Like, doesn't this seem like an amazing like spa-esque thing? Okay, let's look at... Man, it's almost like a, after this, I want to go shower again and do like a whole body experience. Okay. Yay. Okay. So these are very similar to like a Korean exfoliating mitt. Again, look at these colors. I like want to redo my bathroom and have these things hanging everywhere. This is beautiful. So this is the pre exfoliating foam. Okay. So then then you have a body wash. So apply shower gel to wet bath sponge, massage onto skin to activate lather, then rinse thoroughly. Okay, so this is then a body wash. I actually need a new body wash, so this couldn't have come at a better time. I'm gonna, obviously we're not gonna cleanse my body, but I'm gonna pump these out and we're gonna smell them and see. And then after the shower, they have an oil. You guys, these are gorgeous. Oh. And it's a spray. Okay. Maybe what we'll do is we'll exfoliate my, well, I have self tanner here. <laughs> I'm not gonna re-tan myself so, right now. So maybe we're, we won't exfoliate, but let's, let's test it out. Let's see. Do you guys like how these bottles look? I know, super luxe, right, Cheryl? Self tanner has really improved. Love the kind that smell like coconut. Oh, me too, Denise. Me too. Okay, I don't want to break you, but I think you've got to move over here to unlock you, maybe. Maybe this twist. How do you work? Because I think you, you have to, okay, to open. Okay, good, I didn't break it. Okay, let's see. There must be like an enzyme in this for it to be like a pre-exfoliating mousse, I'm assuming. This seems super luxe. I like want to go to my mom's bathroom because you know, she, she has this really beautiful bathroom. If you ever saw my Nira reel that I did recently, I filmed it in there. And I think it'd be really fun to do the whole body treatment. So that might be coming your way soon because this is so beautiful. Sometimes when brands just do like a beautiful job, it's almost like I just want to play in it because it's so pretty. What did I do with, oh, here it is. Okay. Again, I don't know why it takes me so long to get into things, but it just does because I am a real person and I'm not sitting around waiting to open up packages 24 seven. Okay. So that was great. And then let's look at the soap. And if you guys didn't know, we're doing a giveaway on this SPF. So I'm going to send this to you, one of you. We're going to announce the winner on Wednesday during my walkie talkie. But this is the Bloom Effects SPF 50. This is a mineral sunscreen. I shared it in the beginning of this live if you missed it, but it goes on super sheer, but it's a 50 and it's mineral. So it's, it's really amazing how um, great the formulas are now. And so all you have to do is comment like one of your favorite products you've ever seen me share or something that you've enjoyed. And then we're gonna move into the app at four o'clock. So that's in um, an hour and a half. And I'm going to be doing in a tox in my face. So this is a Korean toxin. I only share this kind of stuff inside our app, which is linked below. It's called the Skin and Wellness app. 
has a different name than that, but I don't share it here publicly, but it is on the Apple and Android store. And so you can go find that. Okay, the lid of this is a little dried out. Let's open it up and see. Okay. Oh, you guys, this smells so good. What is that? Okay, I literally wanna go shower with this. That smells amazing. Let's see how it foams up. Okay, you guys are gonna be intoxicated by this scent. That's beautiful. I don't know what it is. It's like, it's like a light floral, but it feels like it smells super rich. Like if you went to like a really high end spa, that's kind of like, I'm getting just massive spa vibes from this line and I'm loving it. Cause you guys know I love spas. <laughs> oh, you love that video. So funny. Their bathroom is, oh, I believe me dream dreams one day one day I hope to like have an incredible bathroom like that then I won't have to haul my stuff around to uh film stuff I'll be like it's all here it's all organized it looks beautiful <laughs> um okay so this is a win too really nice and now let's try the body oil that you would put on once you're out of the shower Okay, this kind of has a scent. If you guys have ever used the Neutrogena body oil, which I, I love, it's a good deal. Costco sells it in a huge thing. Jason now is obsessed with it. He's like, I can't believe you've had this so, so many years and I've never used it. I'm like, yeah, you should be putting yourself in that all the time. This has a similar scent, but a little bit... Um, more special like it's definitely there's like a note of it that reminds me of the Neutrogena body oil but gosh you guys this stuff smells good I'm gonna wear this out tonight as my perfume this is amazing okay so happy right now it's kind of fun to wait to do all this unboxing because although I know they send it to me because you know they want me to share it and help give them attention but it's kind of fun to open it up like after my birthday weekend because it's like look at all my birthday gifts <laughs> okay do you guys have any questions about, about that? You want to try the Nara body wash? The scent sounds so pretty. Yeah, it's honestly, it's so beautiful. I'm going to douse myself in this before we go out tonight. Okay, let's, we've got three more brands over here. And then I'll go over the Inatox setup. And I guess maybe I'll finish earlier than I thought I was going to, but that's okay. You know what we can do? We could do, um, we'll do radio frequency because I, I should do that and that'd be good. So we'll do a little bit of radio frequency too once I get through all these products. Okay, so this is the brand called Shielded and this is a velvety cleanser. It gently exfoliates, removes impurities and nourishes your microbiome without stripping skin of natural moisture. Okay, we'll try that out. And then this is, is this an SPF? What is this? Uh, oh no, this is a face mist. Okay. So this is a purifying mist that shields, soothes, moisturizes, and energizes your skin. Skin, excuse me. Okay, let's do it. Just tuck my hair back up because I did wash it today. What's the scent on that oil? Good question. Let's look at it. I'm sure it says. Okay, these are the ingredients in it. Oh, you know what I bet is reminding me of the Neutrogena, it's got macadamia um, seed oil in it. It has jojoba. It has um, Argania spinosa kernel oil. Oh, it's got cannabis sativa seed oil. Okay. Um, hibiscus. Sorry, you guys, my eyes. I just went and got my eyes rechecked. I have a whole new prescription. Like my eyes are just like headed downhill. Um, I will say this, the forties are amazing, except the truth is, is your eyes really do go away. Hibiscus, Sab, 
Darifa seed, Rosa Canina fruit. So that's rose hip oil. And uh, Plucanisha oil. And then, oh, you guys, they do then do a fragrance and they don't want us to know what that is. So they're allowed to just say fragrance rather than spelling it out. Um, then there's another type of fruit oil and Toco Feral and Lena Lul. So this is made in France. It's beautiful. Really, really nice. I'm super excited about that. I really need to like redo all the products in my bathroom and just like throw out ones that are old and just because I don't finish everything I feel like I have to like keep it all there but I really want it to look beautiful and like cleaner so I'm gonna I'm gonna do some cleanup in there okay let's test this bad boy out and then this is our face mist okay Eyes after 40, it's sad but true. I know, but you guys, I'm telling, oh, okay, wait, hold on. It's like leaking out all over the place. I don't think it should be that thin, so maybe it's just been sitting for a long time. Let's see if we can Let's pull this over in case it decides to leak out again. Okay, there we go. That's, that's more of how the cleanser should look. Really? Okay. Dawn says I need to get the mono contacts. So I, um, so I'm getting, so last year I got a set of reading glasses to help me with editing because I couldn't see, but I, I also learned that I had astigmatism and now we're like, he only corrected a little bit for it last year, but now we're correcting fully for it. And one of the reasons is, is because, um, at night when I drive and it's raining and the lights are really bright, everything is blown out for me now because of the stigmatism. The other thing is, is that this eye is really, really bad in comparison to this eye. And it's because if you didn't know, I had shingles in my eye and this is the one it attacked and we caught it. And he, the um, ophthalmologist didn't think that there was much damage done, but there is a scar on my cornea and so this eye is just failing faster. So you guys, shingles is a big deal. And most of the time it just affects your body and it's uncomfortable. But like if you get it in your eye, you can literally lose your eyesight. And it's, and now I'm kind of experiencing the after effects of having shingles in my mid thirties when it attacked my eye. Super sad. Okay, so this one doesn't seem to foam up as much. Let's see. This one actually smells really nice too. Gosh, these products are like awesome. But this is definitely like a smoother, non-foamy one. But I like it. It's like super smooth. And it has a really beautiful scent too. I wish I could like explain what these scents are. Maybe I need to go to like a perfume class, like learn lessons on like how to explain what things smell like because I don't know. It's just like super fresh, but not super florally. It's just like, again, it's like spa ask and i know that's super ambiguous because spa spas can smell all different but i guess what i'm trying to impart to you is it does have like a very luxurious like high-end scent to it it's not overly scented it's just it feels clean and super smooth i actually like it when cleansers don't foam up crazy because then they're really hard to remove sometimes or they get into your eyes there's a time and a place for different types of cleansers, I find, like depending on what I need to do or what I'm prepping for. So sometimes I like an enzyme cleanser because I know that that's going to break up a lot of dead skin cells if I'm preparing for like a, like an acid peel. Other times it's nice to just have like a cream cleanser that's super smooth on the skin. Not and, and also when you get older, the more foamy cleansers can be super drying. So again, it's kind of like, what are you, getting ready to do. If you're looking for just like a nice non-drying cleanser, then more of a cream cleanser is going to be better. Ones that foam up a lot are going to be more drying to the skin. Typically is what I found. 
Yeah, milky and thinner. Yeah, especially as we get older. Like it's just, you know, we don't have, we don't have all that oil to like absorb the dryness of the foam. Oh, thanks, Faith. Sorry, TikTok friends. I'm not really focused over there because I am streaming on YouTube, but I just figured we would throw on TikTok at the same time too, and I would just be on here saying hi. I've been doing a lot with peptides recently, and you can find a lot of that information on my YouTube channel, Spa and Tell. I've just, they've been revolutionary for me this year. Like, I didn't see it coming. I just something I kind of got into all of a sudden, and it's been amazing. Okay. So now we're nice and clean again. It took off whatever the makeup and everything I had on my face was. Okay. Now we can do our face mist. I wonder if this is gonna be like the tower face mist. So it's a shielded safeguard your skin face the day. Purifying mist. And this is supposed to just help. So the purifying mist that shields, soothes, moisturizes, and energizes your skin. It says it um, shields, but I don't think there's any SPF in this. I think it's just talking about it shields it from like environmental aggressors and apparently is supposed to help um, your microbiome of your skin. Okay, let's see. Ooh, it has a citrus smell and you guys know I'm obsessed with citrus. Okay, so this is made in Newport Beach. It has just a really beautiful citrus smell. I wonder if they sell a bigger bottle of this because I feel like this is too small for like a face spray like you need like a big one right because otherwise I feel like if I was using this every day I could probably go through this like in two weeks I like that this is a nice um, tube like this kind of stuff is great for traveling or just like having out because you're not worried about it falling over or breaking so again this packaging is great for what it is too the other packaging is more luxurious of the other brands but definitely this is like really useful packaging so yay, and now I, sometimes when I do these things, I'm like, oh, that's not that great. That's not that great. But today, like it's been, it's been a winner. All right, I'm trying to decide on which one we should do first. This is a extreme cream firming and lifting moisturizer from In Beauty Project. So let's see. This luxurious moisturizer leaves skin instantly nourished, glossy, and glowing while visibly lifting, firming, and smoothing lines and wrinkles. Intense hydration and nourishment visibly erases the signs of aging for a plump and firm complexion. Bioretinol, plant-based retinol alternatives. Okay, so there's, there's this plant-based retinol that they're using. It's got some peptides in it, so that's going to help with sagging skin. And then it's got three ceramides. It's got a triple ceramide complex, a com ceramide complex, which supports skin's natural moisture barrier for healthier looking skin. And you can apply it AM and PM. So it's free from synthetic fragrances, PEGs, sulfates, parabens, phthalates, gluten, artificial colorants, or any animal derived ingredients, proudly vegan and cruelty free. Okay, so this is supposed to be a lifting one. And then this is from In Beauty Project. If you guys have not seen them, this is new to me as well. And then we have two products from True Botanicals. Again, don't these, look, they look kind of like spa-esque. So like, hmm. Okay, so this one is Get Gorgeous Skin with Natural Bio-Compatible Skincare That Works. Okay, so Chipula Active Immunity Serum is the first line of defense in preventing, protecting, and correcting the skin from all signs of aging, revealing a brighter, smoother, youthful glow. Okay, so it's powered by Chibula, Echinacea, Ginger, Elderberry, and Green Tea. Okay, so the Green Tea is going to have some caffeine in it to help brighten and firm. And then it says apply half to one dropper of serum to face morning and night just after cleansing. 
well, we just cleansed, so maybe we should do this first. And then they have an extreme cream formula of the Chabula. So this is the cream product. It says Chabula Extreme Cream provides your skin with an intense burst of moisture and antioxidants to help prevent, protect, and correct signs of aging formulated with a Hydra cocktail. <laughs> of supercharged active moisturizing moisturizing ingredients for a glowy and replenished appearance any time day or night you guys one of the other things that i think i should get into is writing product descriptions it's so hilarious to me i read these product descriptions all day long and it is amazing like how how they've they've evolved okay so again we've got like a nice pretty glass bottle or jar And then we've got this serum. So I think we'll do the serum first. Also, um, this week for YouTube's like produced video on Thursday, I am working on the scalp spa video that I filmed lot two weeks ago. So I was gonna do it last week and then I kind of like took the late week off and was a little bit slower, which was good. But this week I am going to get that video out for you guys because I'm super excited to share it with you. And I think a lot of you guys wanna see like, what is the deal with these scalp spas? because they are awesome. And I had a great experience at that one that I went to two weeks ago. Okay, we're just gonna do like a whole dropper because that's how I do it. So we've got like a little bit of color to it. Okay, it does smell kind of like roots. Maybe that's the chabula. It doesn't smell as gingery as I was thinking, but ginger can be super spicy, so that's probably good. Oh, Faith, did you say yes? You're, are you excited for the scalp, scalp and spa video? I think it should be good. It's, you know, vlog-esque. So I take you guys with me, we go down there. I just started cutting it this morning before this. So I'm gonna get into it deep tomorrow, but I'm excited. I think it should be a good video. Plus I hope it does well on YouTube because I don't know how many people have um, filmed these scalp spas and they're definitely on the rise. And there's not too many of them. I waited a long time for that scalp spa appointment, but one just opened in Sacramento. So I'm gonna wanna go try that one too. Okay. okay, there's like a little bit of a sticky component to this, but it feels like it's drying down pretty good. Could actually work like a good primer because there is like a sticky, like a tacky component to it. You guys can actually see when I had um, shingles, where is it? Sometimes you can't really see it. Oh, you can see where it came down. This is like, do you see that hypo pigmentation? Like you, it's like white. So that's from when the shingles came out of my, cause they follow nerves. And it like, I, I thought I had glass in my eye. And then like two days into it, all of a sudden this red creeping thing came down my face and my eye was like bloodshed. I couldn't even keep it open anymore. And it was like, it's just crazy. Shingles are crazy. Okay. Yay. So that's good. This is going to be a heavier cream, but I also want to try this extreme cream firming and lifting moisturizer. So let's try this one and then maybe we'll put the, um, the thicker cream on afterwards, but I, I just kind of want to play with it. Okay. This is again is a glass bottle. So it's got the ceramides, the peptides, and the plant-based retinol, and you can use it AM and PM. You had shingles attack when you had kidney stones, still have the white spots. It's damaging, it literally is damaging. Okay, so it's kind of like a white cream. Thanks, Faith. She says, very interesting. Yeah, I I hope so. I mean, it's just, it's like an awesome experience. I mean, I'm, I couldn't really see Jason was filming, so that's what makes it fun for me when I get back into the footage is so that I can like have the other perspective of what's going on because during the whole scalp spa experience, like it's so therapeutic and lovely and I actually want to go back and have it done again when I'm not filming just so that I can like really indulge and fall asleep in it. But... I had an eye mask on. So the whole time I'm like, 
What's going on? I want to see it. <laughs> okay, this is a really nice cream. It's a light scent, not anything. Um, it's just look. Yeah, it's just, gosh, you guys, I feel super spoiled today. Everything is like hitting right. Kind of want to like put it on my arms too. Got to moisturize and lift in from those arms. I went to the gym this morning at 5 a.m. with Jason and the boys because I knew today I wouldn't be able to do my midday gym experience. So I, I'm getting up, you know, at 4.30 to go to the gym is not something that's super fun, but I get up at five anyway, so it's not like it was extra hard, but what made it extra hard today was the fact that it just followed that, um, you know, daylight savings time here in the U.S., so. And I, I think certain states don't have it, but most of us do, so I think most of us can relate to the fact that today's morning was probably much more difficult than other days. Oh no, what's going on? Sorry, TikTok is doing something weird right now. Sorry guys, hope everything, TikTok was like, we're gonna shut down your live unless you do the puzzle thing. So I just had to do the puzzle thing. Okay, here's that cream from True Botanicals. So this is supposed to be like the thicker one. It has like a little color to it. Okay. So this brand does smell like roots. There's like a root smell to it. Definitely more medicinal. I think if you were having a facial and somebody put this on you, it would feel really, it would feel good because you'd be like laying there and there's like a, yeah, like doing the inhalations with this would be great because it definitely is like a clearing scent. We're just like prepping ourselves. Oh, thanks, Ryan. So Faith, over on the, t on the YouTube side, we have all of the products linked on TikTok. I can't like put the links or do the description really. And then the lives don't stay on TikTok either. So that's the reason I prefer doing the lives on YouTube because I can keep them there. I can write out everything and give you guys more information. But if you jump over to the Spa and Tell channel right now on YouTube, then that's where we all are. And um, okay, thank you, Cheryl. I know it is glowing. Oh, Andrea said Ch Chibula is definitely earthy. Yes, it is earthy. But look at you guys, I'm not getting any peeling from any of these layering of these products. And you guys know that I layer a lot, so this is pretty nice. Okay, again, another winner. This has just been very, very fun today. Okay, I think I did all of that. Got a pile of messes over here. We are going to have the giveaway for this. So if you guys didn't comment on the YouTube in the live yet, please do just comment like a product that I've shared that you've enjoyed and we'll just pick, um, you'll be added into the giveaway and then we're gonna jump, what time is it? Okay, it's right after three. So at four o'clock, I'll be in the Natural Chaos app doing in a talks. I'm gonna go over that with you guys right now too. And you know, I think we will do some radio frequency. Okay, so this is what's gonna be the giveaway this week and I will announce the winner on Wednesday's Walkie Talkie Live and I will ship that out to one of you guys. I love, I love being able to send stuff to you guys because I have way too much stuff and if I can share the love, that's my goal. Even though I hate having to <laughs> go to the post office but we're getting some help there so. I think that'll be easier and then I'll be able to do more giveaways so that I don't feel like burdened by the post office. Andrea says the Nira has been by far my favorite product you've shared, but so many other faves too. Oh, thank you. I know I need to hit these um, zits with my Nira and like expedite them um, and fact. Oh, let's do it right now. We got one right here. I'm just gonna wipe off the product that I put on. If you guys didn't know, 
the Nera is great at helping clear up bruises and zits. So let's just hit it. Let's just hit it with this. Oh, it's so powerful. I'm on level two, you guys, and that just like burned so bad. And then on the side of my face. So I just like blast them with a couple heat blasts, just like straight on them. And so many people who have the Nera can attest to this. It's not just me thinking it heals them up faster. It really does. Because when you shoot in the heat, there's this um, trigger that's formed or ca the, the causation. And it's the reason you can tighten around your eyes with it is because it sends in fibroblasts to heal so it just expedites the healing of the skin lesion essentially okay let me see it's it likes to be right on top of it okay good did a little little near a face treatment there all right Let's do new one. So here is my new one. Oh, let me grab the gel that we need for it. And really quick before we get into this, let's go over my Inatox plan that we'll be doing in the app in less than an hour now. Okay, so. Uh, Sometimes it blows out the light. Let me see if I turn it like this. Okay, so the plan is, is that I'm going to be doing in a tox in the center of my nose because you can see that like this is this area gets, I have a lot of activity there. Again, I'm not gonna be treating my forehead. That's purposeful because I'm growing that, that frontalis muscle um, up right now because it got so thin. Um, and then We'll be doing in a talks down here right below my lip to help raise those corners up and then i'm going to be placing a lot of talks around my crow's feet on both sides and then right here my bunny nose lines like just to lay this guy down so that's that's the plan and i have an in a tox vial here and i got my syringes i need to get out some needles for those but that's the plan. So I'll be doing that in the app at four o'clock and it should go pretty fast because um, I wanna I want to go uh, douse myself in that body oil and get ready for going out with some friends tonight, which will be fun. Okay, let's get some radio frequency in. So this is my NUA. I just turned it on on the side to level two. This is the wireless one. I also have the black one that's plugged in. And the way this works is you have a conductivity gel. And the thing that's great about the NUA is that it keeps track of the heat and then it buzzes at you when it's time to move. Originally, radio frequency was harder to know what to do with it or if you were getting enough because they... Um, there was no timer on it or there was no temperature gauge. So you'd always be like, well, I hope that's hot enough. Like, how do I know? So it's, it's much better now. These, these new devices that have come out in the last two years have made doing radio frequency at home a lot more effective and a lot, it's just easier. Okay, so now that it's on and I have my gel spread across it, then I just click it and now it's blinking. So now we're gonna start in the first area, which is your upper like cheek area. So it's broken into six areas and we will do this now. And now that I'm doing this, I can like watch your questions. Jenny Mae's like, I also love my Inatox. Who doesn't Jenny Mae? Who doesn't? Um, oh, thanks Jessica Smitty. She says, yes, the app is great guys. Oh, Jessica, you guys are the best. Okay. So, it's not to temperature yet, 
but it will be and it'll let you know in a second and I'll show you guys what that looks like when it clicks. So this is radio frequency and what radio frequency is doing is it's going to send in heat into the skin and that's going to trigger again collagen synthesis. So similar to the NUA, NUA, similar to the NERA, this one is blasting in heat, but this is with a laser diode that's generating the heat. Radio frequency, the heat is being generated by a frequency of radio waves that creates the heat. And that's the reason you need to have the conductivity gel to actually get that connection. Whereas with the NERA, it's a little bit different, different technology for generating the heat. You don't need a conductivity gel for it. They're just two different modes basically of getting heat into the skin to trigger collagen synthesis. That's basically all it is. So right now we're just waiting for it and it will eventually let us know. The first area is always the one that takes the longest to come to temperature. And then after that, the next areas definitely um, come to temperature much faster. Okay, Jenny May says, Kim, do you think this is stronger than the um, Stop VX? No, I, I honestly, I feel like they're both the same strength. So whichever one you get is, okay, so look, you see? So now it's gone green. So now it's letting me know that we're at the right temperature and now it's going to start its timer. It should, I don't know why it, Kind of like it got there and then all of a sudden it, I could feel it dropped heat. Okay. Come on. Come on. Some of these things can be a little fickle. And for the longest time, they were always plug-in. So this is the first one I've ever had that's not plug-in. So I do think that, I don't know, sometimes it seems like it's a little bit more fickle than not plugged in one than the um, the one that has like a constant power source. Why are you struggling to stay green? <laughs> I promise it normally works that way that I told you it would. <laughs> I will say that if you're deciding on choosing one over the other, I found that the wired in one is more consistent than the wireless one. I love the idea of wireless because you don't have the cord that you're constantly having with you, but I think the issue is, is that the wireless one has a harder time with power than the one that's constantly plugged in. So if you're debating between the two, I say get the wired one only because I don't think the technology is quite there yet to keep wireless. Okay, so now it's happy. So now we've made it and now it's gonna say that it's gonna basically time this area for the next four minutes because that's what you want. You want the skin to be heated up to this temperature for four minutes to actually induce collagen synthesis and get that fibroblast and that elastin triggered to help grow more tissue there. But if I was, after my experience with both of them, I would say do the wired one because I've actually had two of these wireless ones and the first one I could never even get to work. The second one has worked, but okay. So now we're gonna move down to the next area. Actually, when it buzzed, that was it telling me it wanted me to move. I was just still waiting for it to kind of do its thing. Okay, so then the next area we come down here and we go here. Come on. I feel like I'm getting confused by it. It's not actually responding the way it should be. What are you doing? Okay. So you know I'm here. Send in your heat. This is great for this area because you really want to get this like side face, you know, to be lifted and have like nice firm skin. 
in this area as we age this whole area just like drops on us so frustrating it's like it all wants to meld into the neck and you like get no nice line you get no nice jawline so doing this kind of stuff especially right down here in this lower area really helps to strengthen that skin making it thicker and keeping it from just dropping into your neck which just happens for a lot of us Mary says, oh, wow, this is such great information. I need to get one for sure. Yeah, I would definitely get the wired in one, though, because the wireless one has been a little fickle for me. So I would never want you guys to buy one that I think is like a little bit. It's awesome. Like the idea of the wireless is great, but I just truly wonder about how good the technology is yet. It will get better, but wait till I find a wireless one where I'm like, okay, this one is super good, not problematic. Cause the thing I hate is when people buy a device and they're like, it's not working like yours. And I'm like, oh no, why? <laughs> why isn't it working? By the way, you should always reach out to those companies. I do not work for those companies. I do not know the return policies typically. I can't help with customer service. So when people reach out to me on Instagram about something, I'm like, I don't know, like contact them. <laughs> oh, thanks, Melissa. Okay, so we do have a discount code, by the way, on NUA, on these radio frequency devices, and Melissa just put it into the description and added both of them, so you can choose, but I am suggesting you get the wired in one. How last, Ruben asked, how last talks of the neurotoxin? I'm using Inatox today in the app. I'm not using Toxta, but I have used Toxta in the past. I find they all last relatively the same. I like Inatox because its uptake is like three days for me. Okay, you guys can see how much um, heat is being now distributed into this area. And so then when it does vibrate, that's when we move it. But I felt like it was being weird on my first area. The other thing is, is that you don't want to cool down your face. You want your face or the skin that you're heating up to just run the entire process itself. Don't like ice it or wash it or anything like that afterwards. Just let the skin come back to temperature itself because that that is where the collagen stimulus is happening. Your body is working to bring the heat down. You don't want to like mitigate that after you spent 24 minutes heating the skin up. Okay, Andrea says, I've had a big three, shoot, I need to move this, big three um, in one cavitation radio frequency machine for a while now. It truly works, but very bulky. Does anyone have both a large three in one cavitation RF like? machine and smaller radio frequency compare that's a great question Andrea and I have like thought about buying those ones but again I know they're so bulky and I already have a house full of devices and skincare that I was like do I really need these big cavitation machines um so I can't compare that for you okay so now it's done right there and you can see the heat but I bet people in our app because I think there are people who have um bigger ones and then also my friend um, in Australia, you might know him, um, Skin Code by, um, what am I thinking? Cody, do you guys, do you guys follow him? Um, he's great. I know that he has, um, so you have to click it whenever you go to the next section just so that it knows. But he has a, um, I think he at least has two radio frequency devices. I know he has one that's more of a, cavitation one where it's like the thing fits in it and it's like a yeah <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say what it is but more like the one you're you're asking about you, yeah Jenny May prefers the tripolar yeah the tripolar has been great it was the first one that I used that would keep track of my heat and I have every tripolar too 
I think that the new has just been like in reaching distance for me right now. So that's the reason I have used the new more recently, more often, but they're all good. The new and the um, Stop X have both been great by Tripolar for me. And I believe we have a discount code for Tripolar as well. So I think like whatever best deal you can find, I would say the Nua, the only difference with it between the Tripolar is that the Nua's base is a little bit wider. So you do get like a little bit easier coverage, but you're moving it anyway. So it's not, it's not a big deal. I would say that just pick the one that you're getting a better deal on at the time because they're always running deals. And if you can couple our promo code with it on top of it, then that's the best way to just save money and get something that you can use at home yourself. Because so much of this kind of stuff is consistency. Like, yeah, you can go pay for a radio frequency facial and spend $300 or whatever, but just getting radio frequency done once or a couple times is not going to give you the impact you're looking for. This That's the reason microneedling and radio frequency, things like this, those are things that are so good to do at home because you need a lot. You just need it all the time to really see impact. And you would just spend a crazy amount of money and time to ever get that kind of impact if you had to go somewhere all the time. It's just it never makes any sense to really get these things to work well for you. You just you need to be doing it yourself at home. not know why you are not getting it see sometimes I think it does not know because like right now it's just not heating as much again I okay are we gonna start again are you gonna do it <laughs> uh. so the goal is to do four minutes in each area so it's like one two three, four, and then you can do like one side of your neck and the other side of your neck. So that's four areas. The portability sounds nice, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to purchase it just yet, but I'll look for deals and probably purchase one soon. Yeah, let us know, Andrea. Like, again, these things, it's just about consistency, as you know. So the one that you can find that makes it the easiest on you to use is definitely the way to go, in my opinion. But yeah, I mean, last time I used this one, it worked fine. But now this time, I feel like it's being a little fickle. So that does make me nervous about telling you guys to get the wireless one when I know that the wired in one works consistently and well. See, like, it should be green by now and it's not. I do not understand why it's struggling. So that's not good. Okay, here comes the heat again. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Let's see. Oh, Woman of the World is here. Hey, how are you? Um, thanks, Ryan. Yeah, so anybody on TikTok who's watching right now wondering where the products are, the links or any of the discount codes, it's all featured here on YouTube, which is why I haven't been looking over here as much. So if you go to the Spa and Tell YouTube channel, that's where I'm streaming right now. And that's where the description is with everything. So hopefully that helps you guys. How does 42 feel? Amazing. Um, I've talked to a lot of you guys about it. And so many people have been like, 20s are hard, 30s are better, but 40s are awesome. And then I was talking to somebody in their 60s. And they're like, yes, 40s are awesome. But then you get to your 60s and it's like, it's awesome again. And so that's like super exciting. Like I, there was like a moment there where I was just like getting super sad about just like life, not necessarily about aging, but just 
I don't know, you know, like sometimes you start to feel like you've been there, done that. What is there left in life to look forward to? And that's kind of scary when you hit 40 and you start to feel like that. And maybe that's why everybody has a midlife crisis at 40. <laughs> but um, 42, I, I love this weekend. I love a lot of the changes I've made in my life recently. And it's just like making me super happy and super motivated for more years and more sharing, more creating. So it's a good space to be in. I do not know why this is not working correctly right now. It's really driving me crazy. It's like I almost like want to turn it off and start it over again because it's not listening to me. Here, let's start again. Okay. Hopefully you can be better this time. wondering if my other new is around here somewhere because I could plug it in and do the rest with the plug-in one. Let me look. Mm. Oh, wait. Then, where is your plug? So this is the one that requires being plugged in. Okay, now it's getting hot. Now it's now it's working. I have the stop VX. I wonder if it heat affects my threads. Absolutely. So that's a great point. So anything that you have like that are filler, which will break down from heat or threads, those kinds of things do break down due to heat. So for instance, when I placed cog threads here last year and it got like buckled, and if, if you guys remember that, um, I used my stop X, my radio frequency to break it down as fast as possible to help undo those hooks so that the skin could lay flat again. So yes, if you have threads in certain areas and you do not want to break them down, especially like lifting ones. It's a little bit different with meso threads in my opinion because meso threads, you want that bio stimulation that's happening, but they're not necessarily cogged and holding skin in a certain way. So if you break those down, that just means that those particles that are gonna stimulate collagen are just in that area stimulating collagen, right? It's not a big deal to break those down in my opinion with heat. But if you have something that's actually lifting your skin, you don't want to break down those um, those hooks early if like the whole point was to lift. Because if you do that, then you're just going to weaken those hooks and then you're going to lose your lift. So it really depends on like what is what did you do and what is the point of it? So like I'll place threads in my neck, for instance, but they're not lifting threads, they're meso threads or I'll place threads here on the side of my face. And again, those are meso threads, not lifting threads. So I'll use heat on top of it because I don't mind essentially breaking down the thread into smaller particles because those particles are still going to do what I want them to do, which is biostimulate. So either you're using PCL or you're using PLLA and those two biostimulators, whether you inject them as a mesotherapy or place them as a thread concept, essentially you want them breaking down because you want those particles spurring on collagen growth. But if it's a, a cogged thread, that's a different scenario entirely. The cogged thread will also break down eventually, but you want it to break down slow as it's holding that skin in place so that it can almost like act like scaffolding to it. So even when the thread disappears, you basically have more of a lift because the, the work around those th cogged threads helped build tissue. Yeah. Oh, Kim, or KDM says, I'm sad I'm going to be 50 in a couple months. Ugh, but it's crazy. I started all over with kids when I turned 40 and have grown kids too. Oh, wow. Oh, Deb said candy. Yes, candy and I started Mott C today. You did? Okay, now let's go down here. That took a long time to get that to pay attention. Um, 
Okay, I just finished mine um, Friday. So I did my last MOTC last Friday. I actually did three weeks of MOTC. I did, um, so nine days fully. It's interesting because there was only one day really during MOTC where I was like, whoa. But then I felt like I didn't like get that same experience on all the other days, but maybe, maybe there were just other things going on. You know, sometimes... Sometimes you can just hit it perfect where like everything's right and you just like feel it all. And then I kept waiting for that superhuman experience on other days and I never got it. But maybe I wasn't sleeping as well. Maybe I was just like taxing myself. Maybe, who knows? Maybe I was just tired. <laughs> um. Um, this is not the same as new face. So new face is microcurrent. This is radio frequency. I know it starts with an N. This is the newer radio frequency, but different technologies. So microcurrent is stimulating the muscle to actually like it's working out like in a gym, right? And this is actually heating the skin up to encourage collagen. So very different concepts but also both trying to tackle loose skin just in different ways. You're going to do another cycle at Christmas candy. Ooh, I know I'm trying to think of like when I want to do my next MOTC cycle because I have like three vials now of MOTC in my fridge. I also want to try AOD and I'm thinking about getting some terzepatide and figuring out a microdose protocol for it because after like learning about the GIB hormone agonist that's in it, I was like, maybe I need that because that like controls where you deposit fat. And I mean, I want to put on some more weight as I'm lifting and I want to have like a sculpted, but like softer figure. Like I don't want to look like hard, but I want the fat to be deposited correctly. <laughs> so then I was like, maybe I need some terzepatide to help regulate that. You know, that's a good question, Jean. Maybe Candy can answer it because I don't know what the cycle is for MOTC, honestly. Like how long you need to cycle off of it. Oh, can we remove that person, the five-star person. They're just spamming us. Um, what does terzepidide do for the fat? So the GIB hormone, apparently, and I need to do more research into it, but the GIB hormone apparently helps control where you deposit fat. And so that's one of the reasons that when terzepatide came on the scene, because semiglutide is just a GLP-1 agonist, and so is um, liraglutide, for instance. But semiglutide works a lot better than liraglutide. And then in side-by-side -side studies, terzepatide is 5% more effective than even semiglutide, but semiglutide is super effective. But terzepatide is available, it's super effective, but it also has a dual action in it with the GIB agonist in it, which is supposed to help you with body fat depositing. So I also wanted to try it because I've tried liraglutide, I've tried semiglutide. I feel like I have um, good experiences with both and I can speak to them independently. And I think that I need to get some terzepatide so that I can speak to that as well. Okay, so like when you're done with it, you just, wipe it off okay and then we can just do our under neck area to, to help tighten this up and doing stuff like this right before going out is great because it does cause a little bit of a cinching to the skin now it's the the whole idea with collagen induction is that it happens over time but when you heat up your skin you do get like an immediate little lifting to it and tightening. So always nice to do before, you know, going out to see some people. They all are profound. I cannot 
wrap my head around the resources out there um, that are not being utilized to help these suffering people. I know. Candy, you and I both, like, I, like, want to walk around with, like, pamphlets on peptides and just, like, give them out to everyone and be, like, literally, save yourself. Save yourself. Here you go. Like, <laughs> looks good and snatched, Randy. Thank you. After I do my talks in the app in less than 30 minutes, then I'll go uh, oil myself up, use my new uh, body products. And then um, do a little bit of a polish up to hide my imperfections. But I'm excited to use that new Flight 70 makeup tonight. I think it's really pretty. <laughs> oh, Woman of the World is using Sheila, Sheila Jet. Did I? <laughs> Did I say that right? So she says it is a powerful antioxidant that promotes healthy DNA and brain function, supposedly. All right. You'll have to keep us posted on that. <laughs> okay, well, Candy, so good news. You guys know Joe, right, from Beauty from Korea? Okay, I told him we need a peptide hookup and he has been working on that and he sent us a catalog over, like last Thursday. So we might have like a better peptide hookup soon. Not saying that the peptide hookups we have now are bad, but none of those people want to work with me. I think they're all afraid um, because of the gray area that peptides fall into. So I get it. You know, nobody wants to be shut down for selling into homes when all of us apparently are supposed to be doing clinical studies, but nobody's doing clinical studies. Like if that were the case, there's no way all of these peptide uh, sites would be open. Like there's just not enough studies going on, obviously. And if you go to like the workout weight forums for like the bros and stuff, they're all using peptides. I mean that, and it's good because they used to use steroids and now they've all switched to peptides that are so much better for them. So. This idea of like trying to restrict something that the FDA cleared a long time ago saying that they didn't need to be restricted. I think the only um, issue is right now is that Big Pharma decided to get involved in the GLP-1s and now they want to essentially shake down everyone and make it so that you have to buy a $1,500 clickable pen every month. And that's, that's a joke. It's ridiculous. So... Anyways, you know, don't get me started. <laughs> don't get me started on how corrupt the medical industry is in our country. It's just white collar gangs. That's all it is. <laughs> Sandy, that's so cute. She says, I see your name, Debbie, and instantly think gorgeous hair. You guys are so sweet. Hazel says 100%. Yeah, I, it's, I mean, what are we going to do? You know, like we just, we have to be our own advocates. We have to keep finding sources that work for us. I don't care what the FDA says. They're not me. They're not living my life. They're not dealing with my personal budget or my personal time. Like I do not need them being some kind of caregiver to me. They're, it's a joke. Okay. Let's do this side now. Let's get that neck snatched. So you basically go on one side and you just like run it underneath your little, you know, neck fat pad right underneath your chin. And then you just get like a nice tightening because we want that to be tight until we have to get the neck lift, which will eventually happen, but we can stave it off for as long. and. We can give them the best skin to work with when it is that time, right? Not saying everybody needs a neck lift, just saying I'm not opposed to it, even though I do these things to help make it better. I'm not opposed to eventually getting one when the time is right. Because there will come a time 
<laughs> we're all like, okay, we're doing that now. Jean says, yes, Kim, that's what I want to talk about. Well, I've been thinking about that too, which is also the reason I think that I'm going to buy Tears Up a Tide. I'm going to buy probably like four bottles of it and keep it in my freezer, the ones that are on, uh, that I don't reconstitute and just like keep it, you know, in a dark bag in the freezer because it'll last a long time like that. And I want to figure out a microdosing um, protocol for that because obviously I don't need to drop weight but i still want the effects that the glp ones offer excuse me when it comes to like optimizing cell health and the anti-inflammation factor plus i think by using terzepatide microdose with the bcp 157 i think it'll be a better outcome because i think the bpc 157 will really aid in any of the gastric issues you know the slowing which the slowing is great oh the other benefit of the glp ones even if you're not needing to lose a lot of weight but you can microdose it is that because it slows your gi track that means that when your food goes into your system you're not getting a massive surge of blood sugar so it slows down the rate of blood sugar or the rate of sugar being absorbed into your blood which also means that you're not spiking as much insulin. So there's like massive benefits to utilizing GLP ones, even if you don't need to lose a lot of weight, or even if you don't need, you know, even if you're thin, but to be able to regulate how much insulin is being pumped out of your pancreas and have like a slower uptake of sugar is a huge benefit. Jean says, yes, ma'am, I've been prepping my husband for my face and lower neck lift in the future. Yes, ladies, you have to, you have, you can't spring it on them, right? You have to like explain like, hey, this is going to happen and you have to warm them up because they are <laughs> big investments. So don't get to 50 and be like, I need a neck lift. Start talking about your neck lift at 42 so that by the time you hit 50, he's like, okay, I'm done hearing about this neck lift. When are you scheduling it? <laughs> oh, okay. Ryan says today was day one on the Terzep and my energy level was so consistent. Okay, Ryan, I cannot wait to dish with you on that. Like, I'm super excited about that for you. Okay, you guys know how I did the small implant also in my breast? Jason and I were talking about this over the weekend and I like, okay, we're done. Um, we were talking about it because I, I'm still really happy with the size and everything, but being at this lower weight, um, definitely I don't have as much breast tissue anymore. And so, but I was afraid that if I went 200 cc's, then I would always feel heavy if I couldn't be this thin, right? So I think in the future, I might, I might bump them up to 200, uh, but n not in any time soon. Like I'm good, I'm good. But just, just to like go back to visit that concept, I went super small because I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to keep weight off and that I would just look heavy on top. But now that I'm thinner and don't look heavy on top, I feel like I could probably do another 100 cc's and it would be a little bit more balanced because now I feel like I don't really, <laughs> not that I wanted a huge chest, just, you know, I don't know. I, I love the shape though. Like I'm super happy with everything, but you know, and then when I go back to him, Dr. Green's gonna be like, I see, I told you so. I told everyone says they want to, you know, and then you will be like, yes, you win. You told me so. Okay, you guys, I am going to go refill up my water bottle, go to the bathroom, and I'm going to be in the app doing an atox. And here is my map. We will draw it up. We will talk about it. And if you want to enter the giveaway for the Bloom Effects uh, 50 SPF, sorry, 
SPF 50 um, mineral 100% mineral sunscreen that's really beautiful then jump into the app with us because that's how it works you comment here on YouTube then you comment in the app and then on Wednesday during my walkie talkie live which I'm going to do earlier if I didn't tell you guys. I know I've been going at 7.30 a.m., but I'm actually going to go at 6.30 this week so that I can go to my friend's yoga class. So that's what's going to happen. And I will see you guys in a minute at 4 o'clock Pacific Standard, 7 p.m. Eastern in our app. Okay, you guys, I'll see you in a minute. Bye. I don't know how to turn anything off. Okay, let's see. Ah. Uh.